Good day everyone, I am Ayushan Jika Biles and I am one of today's student teachers. I will be discussing chiclet or chick literature and under this literature is the famous novel and film adaptation entitled Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding. What is chiclet literature? So chiclet is a genre of fiction concentrating on young working women and their emotional lives. According to Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English, defines chiclet as the book about young women and the typical problems they have with men, sex, losing weight, etc. Especially books written by women for women to read used humorously. Chiclet is portmanteau of the American slang words chick means for a young woman and lit the shortened form of literature. Novel identified as strictly typically addresses issues of contemporary womanhood such as romantic relationship, female friendships, and workplace struggles. So, chick lit's protagonists tended to be heterosexual women in their late 20s and early 30s living in metropolitan areas. Just like um, the main character in the novel um, Bridget Jones' Diary by Helen Fielding. In the late 1990s, chiclet titles were regularly topping bestseller lists and many imprints were created devoted entirely to chiclet. By the mid-2000s, contemporaries were noting that the market for chiclet was increasingly saturated and by the early 2010s, publisher had largely abandoned the category and the term chiclet maintains an afterlife as a popular category for readers and amateur writers on the internet. Chiclet characteristics 1. Discuss life issues such as love, marriage, dating, relationships, friendships, jobs, and weight. 2. Traditionally aimed at young female readers. 3. Female protagonists in her 20s or 30s. 4. Focuses on the trials a woman faces says in the world. The next discussion is the story analysis. The title of the book and film adaptation, Bridget Jones' Diary. The author is Helen Fielding. So Helen Fielding, um, born in February 19, 1958, is an English novelist and screenwriter best known as the creator of the fictional character Bridget Jones and the sequence of novels and film beginning with the life of 30-something singleton in London to trying to make sense of life and love. Bridget Jones' Diary in 1996 and The Edge of Reason in 1999 were published in 40 countries and sold more than 50 million copies. The two films of the same name achieved international success in a survey conducted by the Guardian newspaper. Um, Bridget Jones' Diary was named as one of the 10 novels that best define the 20th century. Also, Helen Fielding is a contemporary English author and screenwriter. She gained massive popularity for her novel Bridget Jones' Diary. Also, she won um, British Book of the Year Award for her novel, and the novel became a worldwide bestseller in record time when published in paper in 1997. It is marked as a milestone in the newly introduced chiclet genre. Setting One of the setting in the Bridget Jones' diary is Snow Hill. Bridget's parents' home where she first meets Mark Darcy during a Christmas break. Bridget's flat. Bridget lives in the downtown London in a less expensive part of the town. The third setting is the office where Bridget meets Dar Daniel Clever and exchanges flirty messages with him. And also the office was the place she was trying to escape so that she could find a better career with more potential and more money. And the fourth um, setting is the bar, where Bridget would gather with her friends. The theme are addiction, love, sexual, and friendship. So addiction because Bridget was addicted to losing weight, alcohol, and cigarettes. Love because Bridget is trying to find the right man for her. She meets the two leading men, Daniel Clever and Mark Darcy. Sexual because a lot of sexual activities happen in the movie and novel. 
friendships because as we know, Bridget Jones is always supported by her friends both in happiness and in times full of trouble. About the novel, um, literary type of text is novel and the genre is strictly genre. Major characters, Bridget Jones, owner of the diary, a successful publishing assistant and then journalist with two very attractive men fighting over her. Mark Darcy is one of the main characters from the Bridget Jones Diary. He grew up in the same neighborhood as Bridget and four years older than her. Daniel Clever is one of the main characters from the Bridget Jones Diary. Daniel works at a book publishing company in London. He can be assumed a humanizer. Pamela Jones, Bridget's mother, she introduced Bridget to Mark Darcy. Colleen Jones, Bridget's father. Perpetua, she was Bridget's unpleasant test meet at Daniel Clever's publishing company. Other major characters, Tom and Jude. Jude is one of the Bridget's best friend and other two are Tom and Shazer. Shazer is a great best friend to Bridget, a single woman is a feminist who always humiliates men because of their deeds. Yuna, Bridget's aunt and the best friend of her mom, Pamela. Yuna is a regular fixture at family events and best known for trying to set up Bridget and Mark Darcy. Mr. Fitzherbert, Danielle Clever boss, regularly called her Brenda and was the focus of Bridget very first near Gough at the book launch of Kafka's motorbike. Lara, Danielle Clever's publishing colleague and secret fiancé, Lara doesn't get much dialogue in the Bridget Jones diary when Bridget walked into Danielle's bathroom to find her completely nude using work documents as a modesty shield. Natasha Glenville, Mark Darcy's law firm colleague and Girlfriend Natasha for being snarky to Bridget for no reason at all. Exposition At a New Year party hosted by her parents, she re-encountered Mark Darcy, the barrister son of her parents' friends. They had known each other as children. After their initial encounter, Mark thinks that Bridget is full and vulgar, and Bridget thinks that he is arrogant and rude and, dis and is disgusted by his novelty Christmas jumper. After overhearing Mark grumble to his mother about her attempts to set him up with a verbally incontinent spinster who smoked like a chimney, drinks like a fish, and dresses like her mother, she decides to turn her life around. She starts her own diary, which recovers all her attempts to stop smoking, lose weight, and find her Mr. Right. In the exposition um Bridget Jones attend her parents New Year party and then she meets Mark Darcy and then although both of their parents are trying to match them up but in Bridget's and Darcy don't seem to get along at the party um Bridget's overhears a conversation between Mark Darcy and his mother um he doesn't have a very good opinion about Bridget and then Bridget start um her own diary. Conflict Bridget and Daniel begin to flirt heavily at work, first over email ahead of an important book launch, at which Bridget pump into Mark and his glamorous but haughty colleague Natasha. Bridget lives with Daniel and they have dinner, despite the fact that he is notorious humanizer with a questionable personality, of which Bridget is aware. Bridget learns from Daniel that he and Mark have a history and, as a result, hate each other. Daniel informs Bridget of their falling out, telling her that Mark broke their friendship by sleeping with his fiancé. Conflict um, Bridget's crush for her boss, um, Daniel Clever, and then Daniel and Bridget have dinner together. While talking to Daniel, he reveals that Mark slept with his fiancée, and ever since then, they no longer talk to each other. And then Daniel and Bridget start dating, but Bridget didn't know about Daniel was liar. Rising Action 
Bridget is invited to a family party and she takes Daniel along as her plus one. They spend the day before the party at the country house hotel, where Mark and Natasha are also staying. Daniel, having to spend the day working, is not able to attend and send Bridget to the party alone. However, his dubious character becomes clearer to Bridget when she returns home from the party to find Daniel with another woman, a colleague of his, Lara. And Bridget cut ties with him soon after. Bridget begins to search for a new job and after landing a job in television, quits her role at the publishing house without giving notice. In rising action, um, Bridget decides to return to London and surprise Daniel by showing up at his apartment. But Bridget finds out that there is another woman, um, Lara, at her boyfriend's place and then Bridget decides to break up with Daniel and quit her job. Climax Bridget has a long-standing invitation to a friend's dinner party where she is the only single person and distracted to see Mark and Natasha seated at the table. During the party, Mark privately confesses to Bridget that despite her faults, he likes her just the way she is. He later helps Bridget to achieve an exclusive TV interview in a landmark legal case. Bridget begins to develop feelings for Mark and he comes to her rescue at her birthday dinner party at her flat in Boro, which she is disastrously attempting to cater for herself. Danielle drunkenly visits, temporarily claiming Bridget's attention, and then Mark leaves the party but returns to face Daniel. In um, Climax, um, Mark punches Daniel and the two fight. They end up in the nearby restaurant and finally smash through the window and landing on the street and then Mark wins the battle and knocks Daniel out but Bridget chides Mark for being mean and he leaves um, but after an insensitive appeal by Daniel, she also rejects him empathetically. Falling action at the Darcy's Ruby wedding anniversary party the same day Bridget confesses her feelings for Mark, only to find out that he and Natasha are both leaving to accept jobs in New York. Bridget interrupts the toast to their pending engagement with stuttering but moving speech about England losing one of its finest men. Her words clearly have an effect on Mark, but he still flies to New York, though with obvious misgivings, Bridget's friend rallied to repair her broken heart with a surprise trip to Paris, and just as they are about to leave, Mark appears at Bridget's flat. In following action, um, during a conversation with her mother, Bridget, um, finds out that Daniel lied to her and Mark did not sleep with Daniel's fiancé. And then, regretful Bridget reaches out to Mark and then um, confesses her feelings for him. However, um, the man is leaving the country and Mark has landed a job overseas, but Mark um, appears at Bridget's um, flat. Inoma. In the end, when they are about to kiss for the first time, Bridget goes to her bedroom to change into sexier underwear. While Bridget is changing, Mark peeks at her diary in which she has written many insults about him. Bridget returns to find that he has left, realizing that he had read her diary and that she might potentially lose him again. Bridget runs outside after him in the snow with a thin sweater unable to find him. She is disheartened and is about to return home when Mark appears having bought a new diary for Bridget in order to make a fresh start. Bridget runs to Mark and they share a deep kiss. Moral lesson. There is someone for everyone. Whether you find your perfect match in a friend, in your family, or in a romantic partner, your soulmate is out there. There is someone for everyone. Just because you haven't found your special someone, don't despair and take comfort in the wild and winding road, just like Bridget Jones took on the journey to love. You are perfect just the way you are. We all soon that first time Mark Darcy told Bridget that he liked her just the way you are. 
we are also quick to put ourselves down and to focus on our flaws. But what we need to realize is that they don't define us. Learning to love yourself, faults and all, is one of the kindest things you can do for yourself. We all have our bad habits and traits like Bridget, but he still love her despite the smoking, drinking, and the verbal diarrhea day she have. Reflection. Um, for me, the Bridget Jones diary, it is a um, relatable for young women as it deals with the social pressures of dating and self-confidence. There is an overwhelming number of messages in the media portraying how women should look at the possible standards of beauty and that are assumed as desirable. There are also um, standards for whom women should choose a desirable partner and also my reflection in the Bridget Jones diary is that let's not rush to find the man we will love because like Bridget she waited a long time to wait for the right man she would love and love just the way she is. So that's the end of my report about Chiclet or Chick Literature and Bridget Jones diary by Helen Fielding. Um, I hope that you learned something from me. Thank you for listening. God bless you all. Thank you.